Hello. Hi. Hi. We're back again. We are. We did another Seven Days to Die video. We this did? one's a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is all you. This is all me because you've gone to the dark side Ow. and are no longer my controller pal. No, you can you can say that, but I mean. Reasons for divorce number 1,623. Reasons for me using a controller. <laughs> or not a controller, sorry. Yeah. Mouse and keyboard is because I was sick and tired of plugging my key, my uh, my controller in and it wouldn't recognize it and all this other stuff. I was tired of dealing with that. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to play it's mouse true. and keyboard. Yeah. You Done. got Yeah. You got frustrated. So I made myself do it. So anyway, and I, I know. You know, I get it because growing up. All I've played is consoles, and like this was our first foray into the yeah. into the PC. So yeah, listen, uh, I was also raised on controller, and by raised on it, I mean like it's been seven years. Yeah, <laughs> I learned on controller. I'm not good with the mouse and keyboard. Okay, and so I play Seven Days to Die with a controller. Yeah, and some people were like, "Hey, how is it? Or how does it work?" And so I said, "You know what? Maybe we'll do a little video." Um, on controller yeah <laughs> me playing so uh basically if you use a controller you can be a moderately okay to slash good player with a yeah. controller yeah it's really i mean hey it's preference some people are more comfortable with a controller well it's ergonomic like it is it's ergonomic listen i have carpal tunnel yeah and so mouse and keyboard can get kind of tricky for yeah. me. It's not like, like you don't play with mouse and keyboard at all. You do for I like do. Icarus I, and I other play, games. Yeah, I play Icarus that yeah. way. I play DZ that way. I still go I still go back to controller for GTA. Like that's Listen, GTA, GTA you have to have a controller. Oh my god, if you, you have to. Listen, GTA with mouse and keyboard just throw your PC out. Yeah. Just yeah. play it on no, like no, PS4. No bueno. no bueno. Or PS5. I forget <laughs> that there's like new consoles now, so I'm still like <laughs> stuck in like the PS4 yeah. mode. Yeah. But listen, that's where I started my Seven Days to Die journey, right. PS4. So anyway, controller-wise, there are a couple of buttons that are important, okay? I have I use an Xbox One now. Yeah. Well, I call it a fake Xbox because yeah. I'm cheap. So on the Xbox controller, your most important buttons are how to run, which is your left joystick, and how to open your menu, which is the X button. Well, left joystick down, like you push down. Yeah, you push oh, down. Yeah. On, yeah. I don't remember actually. Yeah, you push down <laughs> on the left joystick. Oh, look at me knowing more stuff than you now. Well, boop, boop. with the controller, if I had it in my hand, I'd just be able to figure it out real quick. But yeah. yeah, well, I know I'm I'm legit sitting here with yeah. the controllers in front of me. Yeah. So that I know what's happening. Well, first because... off, you should probably say how you do it. You just plug it in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you. Okay. So to use a controller on the PC, typically you can just plug it in. And well, it should be yeah. plug and play and find all the stuff and be like, hey, I work. Nailed it. With the Xbox, that is how it works. Yeah. With the PS4, sometimes it gets a little tricky. Sometimes this it works, is, sometimes it doesn't. This is why he gets frustrated. But in Steam, there's a handy little thing known as big picture mode. Yep. And so that is where you can like configure your specific controller. You know, So if you're using like a generic PS4 one or if you're using just a generic one in general. Yeah. Or if you're using an actual PS4, you can configure it. And then when you launch seven days, you should launch through big picture mode in order for your controller to work. Nailed it. With Xbox or with my current controller, I don't have to do any of that. Like no. I can just go to Steam, open my game, and it works. Yep. Boop, boop. Um, yeah. So let's talk about buttons. Buttons are important. Right? You can talk about buttons. I don't I don't know. I don't remember. I know. You don't remember. Okay. So, like I said, most important, how to run. Because, listen, you're going to have to run from zombies because they suck. So, left joystick, push it down. That's how you run. Then you run out of stamina. The end. Um, also, to open your menu or, like, your inventory slash crafting area, that's X on the Xbox controller or a generic version of it. Y is how you open things. So, like, if you go up to a bag of trash, hit Y. Now, granted, with Seven Days to Die, it's handy because they basically have configured it yeah. automatically for, like, an Xbox well, yeah, it's controller. Got full, it's got full controller support. So. Yeah, it does have full controller support. So, you'll see, like, up in the left-hand corner, like, it'll show up and say, hey, here's what you hit to, like, do this or whatever. Yeah, the game knows what, you're, what controller you're using. Right. Um, typically. Now, in the actual settings in the game... 
it doesn't because you can actually click it over to do ps4 and then hit apply and but still, it doesn't yeah it's it doesn't apply so I'm, like on a ps4 controller it's it's well, gonna went, be different but like the buttons are still in the you same can, you can go general to Steam area and change your stuff too when you calibrate it and all that stuff and it still doesn't save it no it still doesn't save it um i don't know if they're ever gonna change that slash fix it probably not no i think i think for other people i've seen it work yeah and for me it did here and there but i don't whatever right um okay so we've done movement open your crafting menu how to open things um when you go into the crafting menu like your d-pad will come in in handy if you want to be like super fast about it because unfortunately with a controller even with like changing your sensitivity and whatever in the game it's still gonna be wonky yeah. like when you if i notice when i go to the trader if i try to like sell a whole bunch of things and i try to go to that little arrow yeah. it takes me a hot minute <laughs> and i get frustrated and sometimes i'll grab my mouse and just freaking do it that way because honestly it just takes too long yeah. so you can do that or you can just be a better player and mm -hmm. figure, you know what i mean do it better than i do because i'm not that great <laughs> Um, aiming at zombies can be, it's a little tricky. Can't you're not going to be perfect. Yeah. But once again, that comes down to your, like, if you're a good player, probably playing with a controller is not that difficult. Probably not. You know, I'm not a superb player. I play to have fun and just wing it. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So, if you're playing with an Xbox controller, the stuff will show up. Basically, if you have a PS4 controller, it might show up. It might show It'll up. It still works. It may but, not show up, yeah. but for that one, I mean, it's the same basic mechanics, right? You still have a D-pad, so that's still going to work the same. Your left joystick will still do the runny run run. Yep. And then your right one is the one that like basically is how you look around. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know me. I don't that's know how you this. Look yeah. That's how you look around. Um square on the PS4 controller is what will open your inventory slash backpack where you yep. can craft things, blah, blah, blah. Triangle is what will search things. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> yeah. what does what? Oh, um, O on the PS4 and B on the Xbox is what <laughs> essentially like backs you out of things. Yeah. You know, so like if you yep. have your inventory open, you can just hit that and it'll close it out and you'll go back to doing whatever the hell you were doing. Nailed it. Like running around with no stamina, um, <laughs> punching grass. Yeah. Oh, to punch grass, that's your right trigger on either controller. Um, I think you're, I don't even remember, but I think to like to do the, the hardcore like whack, the power attack, yeah. I think that's your left trigger. If I, I don't even remember. <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's I right. I but anyway, know. either way, there you go. If you want to play with a controller with this game, you can, and you can just plug it in, and yes. most of the time it'll work. Yes, and if you if you play with a controller, and you play with other people that are on mouse and keyboard, you will have a consistent fight <laughs> of you know which is better, and everybody's be like, "You're on a PC, just use a mouse and keyboard." And I say, um, "Listen, I was raised <laughs> on a controller. That's what's comfortable for me for this game." I've yeah. actually tried to play it on mouse and keyboard, mm -hmm. and good lord, like, I can't look at anything, like, the sensitivity is all over the place, yeah. I don't know how to use buttons together, <laughs> I'm no good, you know what I mean, like, I will 100% not be able to play the game, yeah. and I'm okay with that, and you should also be okay with that. Yeah, all right. You went to the dark side. Nah, I didn't. You did? Nah. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I think that's it, guys. I think uh, so. I, you know, it's a quick tutorial. And there's some visuals for you guys to see. And you'll see my moderately okay gameplay. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you use a controller, tell us about it in the comments. Yeah. Also, let's engage in a, you know, the normal mouse and keyboard slash That's controller cool. fight. Better. Let's fight. <laughs> let's debate. Um, I think that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Bye.